I'm gonna talk about why it's important to floss. All right, so I'm back for another weekly Shrippum story time, and I think people really liked my dental tips video series. So I'm gonna talk about more stuff that I think is important in dentistry. And if you guys have questions about stuff, just put them in the comments below. Um, and we're gonna strip them through some uh, Paramount War. Yeah, I got a booster box of set two one piece Paramount War to strip them here while I talk about today, actually. I'm gonna talk about why it's important to floss. Um, this is a question I get a lot. Uh, there was a study put out by the ADA a couple years ago that said, the ADA is the American Dental Association. And the study basically said you don't have to floss. Um, and I think that's bogus. I think flossing is extremely important. And I'm gonna talk about why. Because personally, I'm not really one to uh, listen to people when they tell me to do stuff. So I like to know why I should do stuff instead of just being told to do things. Um, so basically, ooh, blah. Uh, there's a little ligament that's really important. Um, it's called your junctional epithelium. And basically, you're, you know, you have teeth in your mouth and your teeth, bless them, have teeth between teeth and, or the spaces between teeth. And what happens is you eat food because you get hungry, like everybody does every day. And then uh, after you eat, you get food stuck between your teeth. And most people don't floss because flossing sucks. It sucks strangling your fingers and getting a little string around them and then you know digging between your teeth so the thing i recommend is a listerine ultra clean i think i've showed it in some videos but oh z just like that yeah honey this one's for honey because i know he wants to play this leader so there's just going to be one alt art in this box oh yeah top row we're in the top row of this box so that's what we're going to be getting anyway the uh the junctional epithelium is this little tissue connection between your uh root of your tooth and it's above the bone. If you've ever flossed before, you may have felt like you can kind of push into your gums a little bit. And it's like, ooh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go that deep. Well, you are. You're not supposed to go until it hurts, but you want to go into that space and pull stuff up out of there. So basically what happens is you eat food and food gets stuck between your teeth. And then you get hungry again the next day and you eat more food because you're still hungry again. And then that food packs the other food into that little tissue attachment called the uh, sulcus which is above that junctional epithelium. And what happens is that food attracts bacteria. The bacteria produce acid. The acid breaks down the junctional epithelium and it gives bacteria a way to get to the bone. Now you really don't want bacteria to get into the bone because the bone is very porous. It has lots of openings and spaces where stuff can really cause a lot of problems. So you wanna make sure that you're getting stuff up out of there. Um, and not letting that bacteria build up in that little pocket and create problems for your teeth long term. So it's really important to floss daily. There's other options also, at least, you know, if you know that you're never going to floss. The important thing is figuring out a routine that works for you. So if, you know, water flossing is what you can do and you're just never going to use normal floss, then get a good water flosser. Nice. Uh, big boy. Um, you get a water flosser and you can get one actually that hooks up to your shower and just spray water between your teeth. But protecting that junctional epithelium is super important because once bacteria get down to the bone level and once they start affecting your bone, that, um, that destruction to the bone isn't something that just you can just stop. It's something that you need to manage and maintain for the rest of your life. If you've ever gone to the dentist and they measure those little measurements and they say three, two, three, four, or whatever, Anything above a five, a five millimeter space in that pocket is gonna be problematic for you and it's gonna be something that you're gonna have to manage for your whole life. So you wanna really protect the bone height and the space in there so that you don't end up getting problems like reduction of bone height and uh, a number of other things, gum disease, all that stuff. So finding a manageable way to floss every day and protect your junctional epithelium and who got Nice. Uh, yeah, protect that space from, that's my playset, by the way. So that's pretty hype to pull this man. Um, yeah, you really want to figure out how to protect that area and keep it clean so you won't have problems with your teeth in the future. That's been the strip. I'm, I'm not doing dental tooth tips at the end of these because I'm just doing the whole thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next week for the next one. If you have any questions about dental stuff, put it in the comments below. I'd love to answer it. Thank you. Jana matana.
This thing's fantastic. I think of this as like the ultimate toothpick. This is like an awesome, awesome toothpick. Because if you think of it as flossing, you're like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. You have enough crap to do in the bathroom already, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my joke. I really appreciate it. It's really nice of you guys. This is uh, a flossing adjunct. And you might say, wait, but there's plastic. 